Christian in Taraba state have staged a protest over the recent killings in Taraba and Benue states and other parts of the country. The Christians under the umbrella of the state chapter of the Christian Association of Nigeria condemned the brutal killings and called on the federal government to arrest the perpetrators or leave the seat of power. Udwak Godwin tells us more. The streets of Jalingo, Taraba State came to a standstill as the state chapter of the Christian Association of Nigeria protest over the recent killings in Benue State and other killings in other parts of the country. Led by the acting Khan chairman Joseph Amina, the association alleged that there is conspiracy of silence from the federal government and security agencies as regards the attacks and killings in the country. Over the new past days, Fulani headsmen, bandits, gunmen, and others had walked down more than 300 people in full flow only in Benway State. On 24 April 2018, 19 people, including two Catholic priests, were brutally killed in their local government area. This is not to talk about numerous innocent citizens that were killed in states like Adamawa, Taraba, Kogim, Plato and others in the southern region of Nigeria. Armed with placards carrying various inscriptions, they taxed the federal government and all the security agencies to, as a matter of urgency, put an end to the spate of killings going on in the country. The authorities are meant to protect life and property of the people. The best responsibility of any authority is the security of the land. We have seen the falling away of security in this land, and that is why we have this protest, calling on the authorities that be to come and to be responsible to ensure that life is treated as something worthy. Because who over whom are you ruling? If you kill your citizens and your citizens are killed, then and you don't say anything. They should fear God and do justice and do everything within their power to stop the un unwarranted killings, destruction of lives and property of Nigerians, especially the Christian community. This they wonder how both the federal government and security operatives, whose constitutional responsibility is to protect the lives and properties of Nigeria, are yet to find permanent solution to headsman activities. The call on President Muhammad Buhari and the political class to as a matter of urgency cease from playing with the lives of Christians. They should stop pretending. They should face the issue headlong. That is one big way to come out of this matter. Sweeping every matter under the carpet cannot help matters. And they should not have one direction of listening to what is going on. They should spread their attention. Somebody can be working for you because of his office. He will cover many things. This must be done. This is the best way out. Nigeria is for everybody. If things were like this, we won't be here. They won't even be in that office. So things must change. We are trusting God that things should change and change for good. The killing of innocent souls. Enough is enough in Nigeria. Enough is enough in the Arab state. Enough is enough in the North East. We are tired. We are tired. We are tired. We are tired. Our children are gone. Our husbands are gone. Women are widows. Women are widows. We are crying. We are only worried. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We are tired. They should stop all this killing. We are tired. The Christian women of the Arab state. They warned that as President Muhammadu Buhari's administration has failed, especially in the areas of protecting the lives and property of innocent Nigerians in different parts of the country, they called on Nigerians to use the PVC wisely to effect change come 2019. Udwa Godwin, Core TV News, Jalingo.